We are here with Hollywood star Chris Pratt. In addition to being a guardian of the galaxy and a dinosaur wrangler, he is also the voice behind some iconic animated characters from Super Mario to the Lego movies. And now he's adding one more to his repertoire. Garfield, the lasagna-loving indoor cat, is headed to the big screen for an epic outdoor adventure, teaming up with his long-lost dad, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson and best buddy, Odie. Let's take a sneak peek. Shred sequence initiated. Tony! Uh, uh, thanks, buddy, but, but I'm pretty full from the cheddar. Oh! Jump off! That is good idea! Chris, oh, come on. This is so good. Thank you. The kids have been waiting. Yes, right? I mean, it's so funny how you kind of found yourself in this genre. Because yeah. as, as we, we pointed out, Craig just said, like, you're the soundtrack to his kids' movie life. I mean, did you ever see yourself kind of in this role, in these kinds of roles? Man, what a blessing. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> the, the, first, the first big animated movie I got was the Lego movie. Yeah. Uh, and, and that really was so fun and uh i just i love it it's it's a great it's I'm, i feel very blessed it's it's a it's a job that i can wear my pajamas to work <laughs> and i can uh sleep in my own bed at night and so it's it's a real blessing well you know they said that they thought about you for this movie before they thought about anybody they actually used some of your vo your voice yeah. when they were animating it trying yes. to make sure that this was the right fit yeah mark dindle yeah. our director had been working on this film because anim you know an animation is going to take maybe four or five years to make this movie, but they'd been working on it for a couple of years before they talked to me, and he said, I've just imagined your voice I coming out of this character's mouth the whole time, and I was like, I know how to do that voice. Yeah, you do. Yeah, That's I, that, you. That I so can do. So what's, what kind of, what's going on in the booth with you? How are you acting? What are you thinking about? Mm. What's going on? The process <laughs> of an actor. Um, where do I begin? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. No, uh, you know, it's just me. I, I flip my hat around. I take my shoes off. Because you, you get and in the And then I talk. And I'm telling you, this is important stuff. Give it. I talk. <laughs> I say the words. And then it's Garfield talking. I Listen, I don't know. How, I don't even know how I do it. You don't know. You no. have no idea. <laughs> okay, your kids are yeah. so... You're, first of all, your youngest just turned two. Yeah, that's right. How is that possible? You just had the baby. I know. She's last two. Last week. And now last she's two. week, she's two. How yeah. old's your older daughter? Uh, she's three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, uh, yeah. and then Jack's 11. Jack's so. 11. So uh, we, we'll talk about Jack in a second, but how is it being a, a girl dad? Talk uh, about I that. I love it. What I you, love it. What do you love? I, I love that... Um, I, they're so sweet. The, just recently for her, for um, Eloise's birthday, I had a couple of these like Garfield plushies yeah. laying around, of course. Yeah. And I was like, here you go, girls. And so you always want to give two presents to young kids you on must. the birthday because you don't want to have the freak out. Yeah. And so I brought two, P, two Garfield yeah. plushies. One has really big wide eyes and one is like more like, you know, the sarcastic classic <laughs> Garfield eyes. And I said, well, Eloise, you get to pick. And, and Eloise picked the big bright eyes. And then, of course, Lila cried because I called Lila bright eyes. <laughs> and she's like, but I'm bright eyes. And Eloise was very sweet. And she just said, it's OK. And she traded. <gasps> How about that? The second child always does that That's kind right. of stuff. Yeah, She'll work that out in therapy later, I'm sure. <laughs> I never got the bright eyes, but yeah. I have to say, I really admire your relationship with Catherine, too. It's oh, just like a you. beautiful love story. I'm lucky. I'm a lucky man. She's a she's great. She yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Such a devoted mom, just a wonderful person. She's um, she's given me and Jack so much. Uh yeah, we're, we're, we're grateful to have her. And I would imagine that you get incredible advice from Maria. Um, it must be kind of cool to have her in your life. Like, what does what does she mean to you guys? Oh, my. Maria? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean, she's like a living saint. I feel yeah. that. I, and, and she's she's funny and accessible and and brilliant. She's so involved in the lives of her children. She's raised four. Yeah. She and Arnold raised four amazing kids. Mm -hmm. Um and that's not always an easy thing to do. You see people in Hollywood or people who, who've got, like, a lot of privilege. Yes. And they end up raising kind of rotten kids. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to ask her everything. What'd you do? No. How, how did you not spoil them? How yeah. did you not ruin them? Does and she so, ever say? Yeah, she yeah. does. I think she, she holds them accountable. Yeah. You know, you, she, when Maria walks in the room, you stand up. 
you know, she she's big on manners mm -hmm. and she's big on accountability, mm -hmm. and uh, and she's deeply rooted in her faith. And these mm -hmm. are all things that I, I definitely want to take and, and implement in the rearing of our children. Well, I feel like you're such a great dad and a great Aww. husband, but you're also just a lot of fun. And you seem laid back, but I have a weird feeling you're kind of a perfectionist. Is that right? I, my motto is perfect is good enough. <laughs> so that's just how you roll. No, I'm not a perfectionist. I, we were talking about this. I like 80-20, you know? Don't don't settle for for good enough 80% of the time. 80% yeah. of the time get it get it as right as you can. And then yeah. periodically you got to cut yourself some slack. And did you manifest this career? Did you always believe like one day this would be you? Did you imagine this? I I I always had belief in myself. Yeah, yeah I think that I I've been driven, I, you know, we didn't grow up with a a, a whole lot. We had a lot of love and a lot of laughs, but other yeah. than that, didn't really have a pot to piss in. So, uh -huh. so I was a dreamer, and I never had a plan B. I'll tell you that. That's I, how you did it. Yeah, yeah. I just knew what I wanted. I went after it, and um, you know, I, there's a certain level of luck that's involved, and opportunities have to present themselves. But once those opportunities were brought to me, I, I, I hit them full force. Yeah, and, you sure did. And, yeah, it's been well, a, an amazing twenty plus year career. Yeah, it's going to be a lot longer than that, too. Let's go. Can't wait to take my kids to see Garfield. Yes, it's going to be they're going to love it. It's, Every, a, yeah. it's a great movie, safe for kids of all ages. Good. Well, it's going to hit theaters tomorrow, so everyone t today, today, right? Today. Well, today. The Today Show. Today Show. Yeah, you're on the Today Show. Yeah. And the movie it opens, is... let's go. Today. This weekend. All right, go coming up, it. your guide to big holiday weekend sales, hot summer fashions and accessories. But first, this is Today on NBC. It's today. <laughs> they said it was. It is today. It is. Today is today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.